I did one video before about this, but I've gotten a lot of questions since then, and it's honestly been something I needed to come back and review a little bit more. This is a roof snake. It's made by Pack Tool and it's designed so that you don't have to lift a shingle so high to strike a nail. That way you only have to lift it a little bit and you can avoid any brittleness issues. At least that's what they say. There are inherent problems with the tool. The way that it's designed, you put a nail in here and you have to strike this spot, which is off center, to drive that nail perpendicular to the plane. In order to do that, you have to hold the tail end of this somewhere. I really want to drive this point home. This tool is flat. In order to drive the nail perpendicular, the tail end has to be completely flush the entire way down. If I have to hold this tool, I end up lifting the head up and driving the nail at an angle. There is no way to hold this tool without driving the nail at an angle. And when I put it down for the very last hit into the shingle, I strike the tool with a hammer, and impact energy goes straight here and here into the shingle below it. The tool just isn't designed in such a way that you can avoid causing damage. You're trading pliability issues for nail pattern issues. It's not a proper repair with this tool. Look, this is my opinion from my personal experience. This tool, there's no way to make a proper repair with it. I don't know how else to say it. You should not use this for insurance claims. If you have an adjuster or an engineer or an insurance company that's trying to tell you that you could just use this tool to avoid repairability issues, you might want to get a public adjuster involved. Let us deal with the bull. Hey, if you're getting a lot out of these videos, we'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video comes out and share this with as many people as you can. We want to make sure that policyholders are being taken care of a little bit better. We need to educate everyone in this industry on how to deal with the insurance carriers. And if any of these situations has happened to you, make sure to tell us about it in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. Like and share.